Welcome back to Barca Honda's Friday Night Sports. For Covenant Christian Academy, it's for real this year. I know those guys are excited because it's no more on probation for one year where you just get to sit and watch everybody else win district championships. Covenant Christian Academy here in Homa, or I should say Gray, is doing, I mean, this is for real for those folks, and they jumped into a jamboree right off the bat. They jumped into the St. Mary jamboree because there was room for one more team and they had an odd number of teams there. So they jumped in there and last night they took on Central Catholic. This was played in Patterson. It was the first half of the St. Mary Jamboree. So let's get out there as the team in all white there is Central Catholic. The team, seven to seven when we pick up this, by the way. Uh, the team there in maroon with the black pants, that is Covenant Christian. Nice little run right there by number five from Central Catholic, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that is Matthew Border, and he does a great job of getting in the end zone. I hear this was a game of big plays last night. I don't know if you, you didn't get out to that one no, last night. No, no. This again played over in Patterson. Field goal try right here is no good by Central Catholic. You score 13 to seven at this point in the game. Here is Covenant Christian. And running the ball right there is number 15 for Covenant Christian. That's the Barrow kid, but unfortunately he turns it over. Central Catholic recovers the fumble. They take over again. That's your main man again, number five. He had a good game last night. He gets run out of bounds. You can see in the background, 13 to seven at this point. This is what Central Catholic has been known for, dumping the ball off and kind of extending the handoff and getting yardage like that. They had a pretty good uh, scrimmage last week against Ellen the Memorial, but Covenant Christian looks like they're up to the occasion here. This is two teams that are in single A that could very well end up playing in the playoffs against each other. That, again, number 15, Lorenzo Barrow had a pretty good game, and that's number one. Let me make sure that I get number one, because that was a pretty good run right there for Covenant Christian. Callaway. Callaway, that was Leonard Callaway. Yeah. Nice run. Good extra point. Good kick by the young man from Covenant Christian. They go ahead at this point 14 to 13, but unfortunately, they can't hold on. Central Catholic scores again, 19 to 14. So a good showing by Covenant Christian in their first true LHSAA jamboree. Central Catholic always does well in single A football, a perennial power as far as playoffs go. So I'd imagine CCA has to feel pretty good about themselves. Of course, Central Catholic lost a lot of really good football players from last year. They had, you know, the Grogan kid and uh, it's just a, a deal where if you CCA, you got to see a little success early on. They take on a 4A Peabody team next week down here in the Homa area. And Central Catholic getting right after it. They take on Lauraville, if I'm not mistaken. And Lauraville always yep. pretty good. So uh, CCA got some kids who can run. You talked about the McKay kid did not play last night. No, he didn't play. And he's, he's a guy who can run. Yeah, he, he's, he's a guy that can go out. Uh, I remember uh, when the kid was seventh grade, uh, I told him he was going to be a special player, uh, you know. Uh, they got some kids over there that can play ball, and at the 1A level, you don't need many to put it together and, and get in there, especially the way the playoffs are set up now. That's right. The more you go up to the higher classifications, you have to be a little bit deeper, and you could probably get away with it in single-A ball just a little bit. We do have some more footage from that same uh, uh, jamboree last night. Jason's telling me we have to take a break first, but we're gonna give you Morgan City against Berwick. That one was played tonight in Morgan City. We'll let you know how Coach Laurio does in his uh, first game over at Morgan City when we get back from this.